Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Zen Zone Health. Today, we're tackling a super important topic that could literally save your life silent heart attacks. Now, you might be thinking, a silent heart attack? How can a heart attack be silent? That's a great question. Unlike the classic Hollywood heart attack, where someone clutches their chest and dramatically falls to the ground, silent heart attacks often present with subtle symptoms that can be easily mistaken for something else. That's why it's crucial to know what to look out for. We're going to break down six silent heart attack signals you absolutely must know. So, stay tuned because this information could be a real game changer for you or someone you love. We've all been there, right? That unsettling feeling when you wake up and something just feels off. You wake up feeling a little under the weather, maybe a scratchy throat, a nagging cough, a bit of nausea. It's easy to dismiss these as just minor inconveniences. You pop some over-the-counter meds, hoping it's just a common cold and it'll pass in a few days. You think, I'll be back to normal in no time. But what if it doesn't? What if those symptoms persist longer than you expected? What if those flu-like symptoms just linger for days, even weeks, and nothing seems to provide relief? It can be incredibly frustrating and worrisome. This is where things get tricky. Persistent symptoms can be a sign that something more serious is going on. You see, sometimes those persistent flu-like symptoms, especially when accompanied by fatigue and shortness of breath, can actually be a sign of something far more serious, a silent heart attack. It's not something many people consider. Now, I'm not saying every cough or sniffle means you're having a heart attack, but it's important to be aware of the possibility. But it's crucial to pay attention to your body and recognize when something isn't quite right. Your body often gives you signals when something is wrong. If you've been experiencing flu-like symptoms that just won't quit, coupled with unusual fatigue or difficulty catching your breath, it's essential to get checked out by a doctor. Don't wait until it's too late. Don't brush it off as just a stubborn cold or the flu. Ignoring these symptoms can lead to serious consequences. It's always better to err on the side of caution when it comes to your heart health. Being proactive can save your life. Early detection and treatment can make all the difference. Catching issues early can lead to better outcomes and peace of mind. So if those flu-like symptoms are raising red flags, don't hesitate to seek medical attention. Your health is worth it. Okay, let's talk about bloating. We've all experienced it, especially after a big meal or during certain times of the month. It's a common issue that can affect anyone, regardless of age or gender. It's that uncomfortable feeling of fullness and pressure in your abdomen. Sometimes, it can be so severe that it feels like your stomach is about to burst. But did you know that persistent bloating, particularly when accompanied by swelling in your legs, ankles, or feet, could be a sign of a silent heart attack? This is something many people are unaware of. I know it sounds strange, but hear me out. It's important to understand the connection between your heart and other parts of your body. When your heart isn't pumping efficiently, it can lead to fluid retention. This means your body starts holding on to excess fluid, which can cause various symptoms. This fluid buildup, known as edema, often settles in the lower extremities, causing swelling in your legs, ankles, and feet. It's a clear sign that something might be wrong with your heart, but it can also accumulate in your abdomen, leading to that persistent bloating sensation. This is why it's crucial to pay attention to your body. Now, I'm not saying that every time you feel bloated, it's a medical emergency. Bloating can be caused by many things, like diet, stress, or digestive issues. But if you notice unusual and persistent bloating, especially if it's accompanied by swelling in other parts of your body, it's crucial to take it seriously. Don't just brush it off as something minor. Don't ignore these potential warning signs. Your body is trying to tell you something important. Your body often communicates through subtle cues, and it's up to us to listen and seek help when needed. Being proactive about your health can make a big difference. So if you're experiencing persistent bloating and swelling, don't hesitate to reach out to your doctor. It's always better to get checked out and be sure. It's always better to be safe than sorry. Taking care of your health is the best investment you can make for your future. All right, let's talk about sweat. It's a natural bodily function that helps regulate our temperature. We sweat when we exercise, when it's hot outside, or when we're nervous. But what about sweating excessively without any obvious trigger? What if you're breaking out in a cold sweat even though you're just sitting on the couch? 
This, my friends, is another potential red flag for a silent heart attack. Excessive sweating, especially when it's accompanied by other symptoms like chest discomfort, shortness of breath or nausea, can be your body's way of signaling that something is seriously wrong. Now, I know it can be tough to differentiate between normal sweating and something more serious. But if you find yourself drenched in sweat for no apparent reason, especially if it's accompanied by other unusual symptoms, it's crucial to pay attention. Don't just wipe away the sweat and ignore the warning signs. Your body is trying to tell you something, and it's up to you to listen. So if you're experiencing unexplained and excessive sweating, especially in conjunction with other concerning symptoms, don't hesitate to seek medical attention immediately. Let's talk about heartburn, that burning sensation in your chest that often rears its ugly head after a spicy meal or late night snack. It's that uncomfortable feeling that can make you regret indulging in your favorite foods. We've all been there, right? That moment when you feel the burn creeping up your chest, making you wish you had made a different choice. You pop an antacid and the discomfort usually subsides. It's a quick fix that many of us rely on to get through the day. But what if it doesn't? What if the pain lingers, making you question if it's something more than just heartburn? What if that heartburn-like pain persists or even worsens, even after you've sworn off spicy foods and embraced a bland diet? It can be incredibly frustrating and worrisome. This, my friends, is where things get tricky. It's not always easy to distinguish between simple heartburn and something more serious. Sometimes, what you think is just heartburn or indigestion can actually be a sign of something far more serious, a silent heart attack. Yes, you heard that right, a silent heart attack. Now, I'm not saying that every bout of heartburn is a medical emergency. Most of the time, it's just that, heartburn. But it's crucial to be aware of the potential connection between persistent chest discomfort and heart health. Ignoring these signs can be dangerous. If you're experiencing frequent or severe heartburn, especially if it's accompanied by other symptoms like shortness of breath, nausea, or pain radiating to your arms or jaw, it's essential to get checked out by a doctor. These could be warning signs of a more serious condition. Don't just reach for another antacid and hope for the best. It's important to listen to your body and take action when something feels off. Your heart health is paramount, and it's always better to err on the side of caution. Taking proactive steps can make all the difference. So if you're concerned about persistent heartburn-like symptoms, don't hesitate to seek medical advice. It's always better to be safe than sorry when it comes to your health. Living with diabetes brings its own set of challenges. And one of those challenges is an increased risk of silent heart attacks. You see, diabetes can lead to a condition called diabetic neuropathy, which affects the nerves, particularly in the extremities like your hands and feet. Now you might be wondering, what does neuropathy have to do with silent heart attacks? Well, here's the thing. Neuropathy can dull your senses, making it difficult to feel pain or discomfort as intensely as you normally would. This means that if you're diabetic and experiencing a silent heart attack, you might not experience the classic symptoms like chest pain or arm pain as intensely as someone without neuropathy. This can be incredibly dangerous because it can delay seeking medical attention. That's why it's crucial for individuals with diabetes to be extra vigilant about their heart health. Pay close attention to any unusual symptoms, even if they seem mild or insignificant. If you're experiencing any discomfort, shortness of breath, or other unusual sensations, don't hesitate to reach out to your doctor. We've all heard that pain in the left arm can be a sign of a heart attack. But here's the thing. Pain associated with a silent heart attack can be a bit more elusive. It's not always the classic Hollywood heart attack pain. Instead of that crushing chest pain, you might experience discomfort or pain in unusual places like your jaw, neck, back, or even your teeth. It might feel like a tightness, pressure, or a burning sensation. And it might not even be on the left side of your body. Silent heart attack pain can radiate to your right arm, your back, or even your upper abdomen. So, it's crucial to pay attention to any unusual pain or discomfort you experience, especially if it's accompanied by other symptoms like shortness of breath, nausea, or sweating. Don't dismiss pain in these areas as just a pulled muscle or something you ate. It's always better to err on the side of caution when it comes to your heart health. If you're experiencing unusual pain, 
especially if it's persistent or accompanied by other concerning symptoms. Don't hesitate to seek medical attention. That's it for today's video on silent heart attack signals. Remember, knowledge is power when it comes to your health. By understanding these subtle warning signs, you can take charge of your heart health and seek medical attention promptly if needed. Remember, if you're experiencing any unusual symptoms, especially if they're persistent or accompanied by other concerning signs, don't hesitate to reach out to your doctor. It's always better to be safe than sorry. Thanks for tuning in to Zen Zone Health. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future health tips and information. Stay healthy and take care.